There's an interesting trend that I notice a lot in my clients that I coach over the three month course. And it's a trend that I noticed in myself as well 15 years ago when I was learning this pickup stuff. A lot of guys get involved in trying to be better with women because they want to get more women in their lives. And often after a lot of frustration of not getting the results they want, they eventually realize that it's not about getting women, it's about improving themselves as men. And when they finally, when that finally clicks in their heads, all of a sudden, bam, results start to happen. Women start to, to, to want to date them. Uh, women come out of the woodwork. Girls have had as friends of all of a sudden start showing sexual interest in them. It's, it's like this thing in their head switches and they're, they're focused and their lives change and all of a sudden women start falling in line or the, the women's problems start not being problems anymore. So what's going on here? What's this all about? Keep watching today to find out. So you want to learn to be more successful with women. What are you going to focus on? What most guys focus on is what are you going to say? How are you going to hold your body? What are the, how are you going to open them? You know, what kinds of topics build rapport? What kinds of topics should you avoid? You know, how to get them on a date? All this kind of logistical skill set based stuff. And fortunately for 90% of you watching right now, this is the wrong thing for you to be learning, at least for the moment. See, as coaches, one of the things that we notice a lot, in fact, if anyone who's been coaching for a long time notices this, that some guys can, can jump in and start learning this pickup stuff. And it's they're like the saying all the right things. If you just listened or watched, like wrote down, transcribed everything they were saying, it's like they're saying all the right things. And they try to put their bodies through all the right motions. And yet women just keep rejecting them. And this, this has got nothing to do with looks. I get good looking guys suffering from this all the time. And yet other guys you can, you can coach and you just, it's almost, you just need to put them in, you, once you get them to feel confident enough to actually stand in front of women and start talking, like approach women, they only need some, some massaging, some basic social skill set coaching to start getting results. And sure, when they learn, the, you know, skill sets to become really great at building rapport, really great at banter, their, their skills go through the roof. But they start to get results really quickly. What's going on here? What, what, why is this? Well, in entrepreneur terms, in the business world, there's, there's, there's a, a philosophy. And it basically goes like this. If you release a product and nobody buys the product in the beginning, I mean nobody, odds are there's something wrong with the product. The product isn't a product that people want. If you release a product and you get some initial sales, it's worth tweaking and, and, and trying to market better and putting the effort into. And this is a little bit the same here with guys learning to be better with women because what guys aren't realizing is that the product has to be a product that women want. And if your product isn't a product that women want right now, you need to work on the product first. The product is you. I think one of my mentors, Aaron, said it best when he said that when he first started with me, he was so focused on what to do, where to stand, how to hold his body. He was everything about him was focused on, it was difficult. He was constantly trying to pick up women, constantly trying to get it right. And when I got him to focus instead on himself, on setting boundaries and getting focused on his passions and what he really wanted out of life and the kind of woman he wanted. And so I got him actually approaching women and what he'd had to do is screen them. Right? And he had to walk away in three minutes if women didn't match what he wanted in a woman. And when he started doing that, he said, everything changed. It, he didn't have to try to pick up women. You know, when he got his shit sorted, when he worked on himself as a guy and got his mindsets healthier, he didn't have to pick them up. He just had to put himself in front of them and be who he was and women would respond. And it's not just Aaron. I mean, I get my mentors, my past students telling me this all the time. It's this weird kind of transition where they realize they just got to stop trying. Because if the product is good, if they've dealt with their own issues, then they're going to get results. Everyone wants the quick fix. Everyone believes they can attend like a weekend boot camp and everything's going to change overnight. For most of you, that just can't happen. There's, there's limiting beliefs. There's views you have of the world, there's views that you have of yourself, there's your relationship to your sexuality and the relationship you have to feminine energy. And if that's all out of whack, if you feel like you're just trying to get sex out of a woman, but you've got nothing to give in return, you're never going to get laid, right? And until you deal with that, until you really work on that, 
your results with women aren't going to change. And the place to work with that isn't out there in the field talking to women. Why? Because if you get your validation from women for your deservingness to have women in your life, then your validation comes externally, comes from women. And that's really, really unhealthy. I notice a lot of, a number of pickup guys get into that trap. They, they learn pickup to feel better about themselves. Then women are the only way they know to feel good about the, themselves. And so all of a sudden they're addicted to women. And that happens a lot. I mean, if you've read the game that happened to Neil Strauss as well, right? He developed quite a, quite a unfortunately common form of sex addiction as a result of his time learning pickup. Now, I can already hear the comments section <laughs> saying, Damien, what about bad boys and players? I know lots of guys who are really badly emotionally put together, and yet they seem to have women falling off them left, right, and center. What's going on here? Um, you're right. A lot of these guys, there are a lot of guys who, are, who are really have got a lot of issues emotionally and do really well with women. What's happening here? Well, as it turns out, um, there are certain ways that you can be messed up emotionally that are a massive turnoff to women. That's probably you who's watching this video. There are other guys who are messed up who do well with women in a certain way with certain women. So what I mean by that, guys who are kind of bad boy players have really big self-esteem issues. Unfortunately, well, fortunately for them, those self-esteem issues make them appealing to women who also have self-esteem issues, right? Because they're, they're, they've got this unique brand of messed up in the headness that makes them attractive to each other. And so these guys, what happens is, yeah, they get to meet women, but what happens is, they can never find happy, stable relationships. So they're constantly bouncing from woman to woman because they're unable to find stability in their lives. And that leads to a lot of depression and unhappiness and a great sense of loneliness that they don't know how to fill. So these guys often ha end up having to work on themselves far later on in life when everything's falling apart and their wife has left them and their children don't like them, they can't work it out, what's going on? Eventually they need to work on their stuff too, just for different reasons at different points in their life. You know, the unfortunate thing is that the pickup industry Unfortunately, the industry that I'm in, really, even though I try to distance myself from it at times, the industry has a habit of promising guys, in one weekend, you can turn your life around. So come out with me for a weekend boot camp and it's all going to be sweet. And then what they do is, is they show uh, testimonials of guys who are like, in one weekend, my whole life was turned around. But that's, that's, that's the magic of handpicking your testimonials. And everyone does that. Of course, I do too. I show you my great testimonials and and whatnot. But what I'm getting at is that, yes, you can turn your life around in a weekend if you're already a well-adjusted man. And, and I see this all the time. Guys come along, they've got their, their, their careers in order, they've got their um, emotion, they're quite well put together, they've got a healthy relationship to the masculine, they've got a healthy relationship to the feminine. They're really easy. You just got to guide them, teach them some, some solid social skills, and they're going to nail it. But a lot of guys aren't in that position. And so to those guys, I mean, that's why I don't really do many weekend boot camps. Um, I really focus on longer three month programs because there's a lot of inner work that needs to happen for the majority of men. And that's how you get long lasting change. And so if you're watching this video, what do I suggest? What I suggest is, first of all, be willing to tackle the hard stuff. I mean, it's really easy to just want to focus on the quick fix. And it's really easy to be lured in by the notion that it's actually really, really easy to change, just learn this technique or just do this, this mind thing every day and you'll suddenly nail it with women. But the truth is that's not how it's likely to be for you. It's likely to be a slow journey. So what I suggest you start doing is focus on men's development. You know, read The Power of Now, read Way of the Superior Man, get involved in men's development groups. You know, find a men's work group, if you've ever heard of that, you know, find that in your area. Um, do things that enable you to get really connected with your masculine. Do things, you know, start discovering your passion. I've talked about this in my last video. I'll put the link up here. But if you get involved with your passion, your purpose in life, that, that's a massive step in the right direction of discovering who you are and becoming the kind of man that women want to be around. You know, if you have a low self-esteem, deal with it first and don't rely on women to boost your self-esteem. You know, go see a therapist. See someone who can help you with that. Because if you work on that first, meeting women is going to be far less of a chore and far less frustrating of a journey than if you try to start meeting women when everything in your life is chaos. Deal with the chaos first. So what do you reckon, guys? Uh, is this something that you can see? Does this make sense? Have you been really frustrated in your, your dating life so far? I've been trying to approach and trying to get results and just nothing seems to be working. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comments below. And definitely subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below. I'm Damien and I'll see you in my next video.